Hello everyone, my name is Serial Beliefs, and welcome to Darkest Dungeon, one of my favorite games of this entire year. I know we've only begun the year, but it is a lot of fun. I had no idea about it, but now I'm in love with it. Now, Darkest Dungeon is a challenging gothic roguelike turn-based RPG about the psychological stresses of adventuring. You can recruit, train, and lead a team of flawed heroes against unimaginable horrors, stress, famine, disease, and the ever-encroaching dark. Can you keep your heroes together when all hope is lost? And that's just right off the their Steam page. And let me tell you, the game is dark, the voice acting is great, and I enjoy how the heroes are overall flawed people. They're actual people in many ways. I mean, clearly it's a game, but they have their quirks. They can either be positive quirks or they can be negative quirks. And right now we're going to begin... And don't worry, I won't be talking during the cinematic, but I will be going through the gameplay mechanics. And if you're a veteran to the game, teach me. Show me the ways, comment down below, and let me know how to play better. Because I would love advice, I would love to live an extra day. Alright, there we go, we'll call it that, why not? Enter, and we're going to begin right now. arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside, leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Here we go. Find your way to the hamlet. You are currently in a room. To move forth, click on another room on the map display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. Alright. We'll do that right now. Have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. Okay, when in a hallway, and press D to move forward. Ahead. A to move back. If you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead or behind the party to move them. Oh, there we go. This thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. Our very first rogue. Kill the enemy. Combat is turned based on your hero's turn. Click a skill icon and then click on the highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because a hero needs to be standing in a different spot or there are no violent targets. Alright. Now, over here, you're looking at three dots that are not red and then two dots that are red. Now, in order to use that ability, open vein, I need to be in the first three positions. Either here, here, or here. If I'm in the back row, I won't be able to use open vein. Now, to hit my enemies, they need to be in the first two rows over here, here or here. And that is basically how every ability in the game works. It's all about positioning. Okay, we're going to use right now over here, open vein. It's fairly accurate. Damage modifier minus 15%. I assume that is for them. It has a bleed effect. And that could be good against more powerful foes. I mean, you're not very powerful, but we'll do it anyway. All right, now that creature is bleeding. Now, here is Renald. Let me look over here. I could use Bork of Faith. I could use Stunning Blow, which is what I will use. I mean, the accuracy base is very high. And Stun Base, 100%. Boom. Okay, so apparently it does less damage, but he is now stunned, and now we can wait for a new turn while he's bleeding out. Okay, he's back, and I'm going to go and use my Grape Shot Blast for fun, for variety. Oh, you dodged it. Never mind. That didn't work out. Okay, I'm going to use Smite, which is very uh, good against unholy creatures. As Bam. the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Alright, now there will be constant narration, and I'm in love with it. Interactive objects in a game, curious. While exploring, you will often find interactive objects. Click, let's see, or press W to investigate them. Okay, so we'll press W. And we have what? We now have Leave more gold. Unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. You're kidding, let's go in. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. Okay. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Time for me to fight now. Pistol range, I could use tracking shot. I kind of like that idea. I would do more damage. 
Okay. There we go. Now I'm all buffed up. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. You can't stand your ground. That didn't take long at all. And you can't really heal up. Now, my highwayman over here is not very tanky at all. I actually need my crusader to move up. I don't know if we can even do that. So we're going to use Bulwark of Faith because he took a lot of damage. Well, unfortunately, hold on. I thought that was actually a usable ability, but apparently not. Okay, move up again. Don't you die on me, pal. They're actually very hard. I mean, I don't remember them being that hard, but they are very hard. Let's just kill him right now. Eight damage again for Open Vein. He's bleeding out. Three damage on Renaud. And that guy's bleeding a little bit. Punishment, what are you using? Four damage on my Highwayman. Man, in the very beginning, I mean, that very first blow was kind of critical. Okay, Zealous Accusation would diminish your overall damage. We're going to go over here and stun you. That way you can bleed out. That Oh, it didn't actually work. Okay, we'll try again. Crit modifier plus 10%. Let's go look over here. Accuracy, critical damage chance, damage, my dodge chance over here protection points and speed and I've got my gear of course and oh down here is stress if it gets too high your characters can potentially break and it'll test their resolve okay grape shot now we're gonna focus on damage for now because we've got to Whew. good one okay I'm gonna smite you the bigger the beast I did a lot more damage than I thought it would do so apparently that reduced my overall stress very cool okay we're gonna go over here and shoot you, because I hate you. All right, now smite again would be a good idea. We're dodging more fire. Get out of here. This advantage. Give them no quarter. Okay, I'm picking up gold, a portrait, an oil painting of some distant family relation, and a emerald, which could have been quite a bit of money. Okay, completing a quest. After you've completed the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Alright. We'll go back to the hamlet. And away we go. Victory, the old road. 5,000 gold, which is a lot. Collected treasure, food, gold, emerald, and again, collected heirloom. Because... I believe from what I understand, the narrator is actually coming back to take his birthright, his home here. Okay, plus two resolve XP. What is that over here? You picked up a new quirk, yeah. Last gasp and I get plus one speed if I'm below 50%. Handy. Or a trait. I believe that might be a trait. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Oh, okay. Here I am, the darkest estate, caretaker goals, I need to defeat a lot of creatures. And I mean a lot. That'll take time. The swine god, ooh. Roster goals, raise a abomination to resolve level six, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go look at my team in a moment. Get help where you may. On any screen in the game, press and hold H to see contextual help for controls in that mode. Oh, look at that. Handy. Okay, I can right click on a hero in the roster to inspect their detailed character sheet. They can be renamed, yada yada. Okay, click on buildings to use them to interact with your heroes, gotcha. And then Stagecoach, I can recruit new heroes, Blacksmith, Upgrade Heroes, Weapons and Armor, Guild, Upgrade Heroes, Combat Skills, Survivalist, Upgrade Heroes, Camping Skills, Taverns, and Heroes for Stress Relief, which involves Coitus, Abbey, Send Heroes for Stress Relief, Alright, Purchase Rare Items, and Sanitarium. If they have quirks and diseases, they can go to the Sanitarium. Okay, here we go. Apparently, Renaud is God-fearing. He will only pray to relieve stress, and he likes to steal a lot. I've got to get rid of that. He will steal items from me, which would be annoying. Okay, if my torch is high up, he'll do 10% more damage. And I'll talk to you about that later when we go on another mission. Preferred target. Preferred position. Okay, so you're a frontliner, and you want to fight people in front line. Dismiss. You're a known cheat. You're not allowed to gamble while in town. You've got a hard noggin, quick reflexes, and that up over here. Okay. So it is called a quirk. Camping skills are over here. 
I believe I can't camp on short runs, which is like a short dungeon. All right, let's go over here now. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All yeah. will find their way to us now that the road is clear. You'll need to recruit these two heroes to fill out a party of four. Drag and drop them into your roster. Okay, I can upgrade it. Upgrade it. I can upgrade it, and that will help out my stagecoach network. That's pretty cool. Alright. Let's go over here. I've got what a plague doctor. Laboratory than the blood -soaked battlefield. And a seeker vestal. Now, stagecoach, what do you have? I can upgrade you now to three. My roster to 12, which I do not need right now. Can I afford that right now? I could. Okay, Great you are now upgraded. can be found even here. In the mud and rain. No kidding. Okay. Now, if I go over here, what will in happen? In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Wow. Look at that. That is a lot of information here. It's empty. I can go over here to Most the graveyard. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Very somber. Okay, we're about to embark in a moment. Nomad wagon. I can't actually go there quite yet. I'll have to wait for that. Okay. Time for us to go on a new mission. Here we go now. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Okay, we're going to the ruins, and here we have our estate map. I've got to explore 90% of the rooms, and then I'll be good to go. I'll get 3,000 gold, four crests, and one debuff stone. Okay, Crusader, you need to be in the front lines. Let me get in my tank. Dismas, you'll come next, and then we have our Plague Doctor. And our Seeker Vestal in the back. She'll be healing quite a bit. Okay, I have my group. And now we need provisions. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. Okay, eight food and four torches. All right, I can do that. One, two, three, four. One. There we go, eight food. And I'll bring in two shovels. I mean, I might need that. If I'm bleeding, well, I doubt I will be. It's a very short little job that we're having to do here. I don't want to spend too much money. A big part of the game is learning how to manage your goods and to not bring too much. If you bring too much, well, you're going to lose a lot of money. Okay, time to embark now to the ruins, and hopefully no one will die. Of course, I mean, I wouldn't put that past me. <laughs> okay. Right-click on the hero's image or portrait at any time to bring up a detailed panel. Gotcha. Okay, Reynard, we are going now. Right up here. Radiant light. Okay, good, good. I want to keep my torch. I don't want that gone. Ever, ever. What is that? One unburned torch. Cool. Better loot for me. Oh, my stress went up a bit. Now we have dim light. Right. When it's dim, well, my crusader isn't too happy. I'm gonna go and use a torch right now. Done. Now, we've got what? Two bone rabbles, and they're pretty weak. I can actually defeat them rather easily. Take that. Four damage. Your turn. Okay, you have incision and emboldening vapors, and that will actually buff up my team quite a bit. Go cut him. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. So we have two characters that can inflict bleeding damage. Not bad. All right, judgment. I could have you use judgment. Use judgment. Seven damage, and one more hit to go, and that bone rabble will be dead. Time to smite. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. No kidding. Okay, let's go grab a bit of loot. I'll take that. The contents are mine, a new shovel, gold, and a portrait. Now we can move on. Okay, off to a new room. Radiant light still. Yeah, here we go, rubble. Even I'm gonna use a shovel. The cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Yeah, no kidding. Now, the lower the light is, the stronger my foes are, from what I understand, and the lower the light is, or the dimmer the light is, I can get better loot if I let it, you know, go dim. Alright, what can I do right now? That would be more damage. Do that. Now you're all drugged up. Now you're a lot stronger. 
Considering he's a Crusader, he should be able to do a lot of damage. Who are you? Oh, that was a lot of stress. I did not enjoy that. Oh, you're a, a cultist, and my Crusader's not a fan of the Eldritch. Okay. I'm going to shoot her right now. Five damage. And then I want you to judge her. I'm judging you. Now you're judged. She's about to be dead. I want her gone for good. The other two aren't a big deal. I mean, they're basic melee skeletons, and they can't really do a lot to me. Or maybe they can. Wow, that's a lot more damage than I thought they could do. Okay, we're going to use Smite on the one on the front lines. Bam. Their formation dead. is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay, good. You can hit again. I want you to hit that other skeleton. The onslaught. Dead again, or, you know, Destroy re dead. I want you to use Divine Grace, and I want you to actually heal Reynald. He needs to be buffed up a bit. Eldritch Pool. Ooh, a tentacle. Okay, I'm gonna need you to move in a little bit, but for now, shoot her. Oh, she dodged it. I could let you cut her. You can't cut her, actually. I'm gonna have you move back. I don't want you in that position at all, or ever. You're not very capable when it comes to actually taking hits. All right, good, you're in the back row. Not a bad choice, and you can use a plane grenade or blinding gas. That would stun you, okay? I want you to be stunned, and now she is stunned. That should last for maybe one turn, and now you can shoot her. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Okay, we gain two food, 100 gold, and citrine, which again will give me more money. All right, I wonder if I can actually reorganize my party whenever they're not actually fighting. I can, okay, cool. Well then, I want you to move back. I know that we can't heal right now. I mean, my food can, and I do have holy water. We'll go over here to that room. The torch, it's fading right now, right? I'm gonna keep it bright. I mean, later on, when I have a better handle on the game, I'll look at, oh, hello. Loot. I'll look at letting the light go dim. You're stealing it. He is, yeah, because he's a kleptomaniac. Uh, come on, Reynald. What a weird guy. He's like, I'm a holy man, but I do like to take a little bit of loot. Oh, here we go. Surprised. Shadowy, no wonder. All right, lights back up. I want you to actually make him bleed. We want him to bleed away. Oh, we're gonna have quite a trying battle. Okay, good, you dodge that. If I can have you dodge more, that would be incredible. I can have you heal the entire party. But I want you to judge him. I want him gone now. Eight damage. He might actually be dead, or nearly. He should bleed out. Open vein. Okay, that creature can't really do that. You're gonna move here. Another incantation. More stress. Yeah, they keep trying to stress out my party. I could kill that person now, but I'm actually gonna judge the two of you. That is a lot of damage. One dead now. Good, you keep on dodging. I love that. Thank you. All right, your turn. I don't like you being on the front lines. I mean, that is not a good location for you to be at. Open vein, pistol shot, grape shot blast. I feel like that would be the right choice. There we go. Damage for the entire party. Now, again, you can use judgment on her. She dodged it. Here's another push. You're pushing Reynald. Whoa, way back. I've got to patch up. I'm going to have my characters heal up. Okay, Reynald, you've got to move up. I'm trying to get you back up there. And now... A devastating skull. Blow. That was a critical hit. They're a little bit happier for it. She's pulling him forward. Alright, lady. You are making my party a mess right now. I'm going to make you bleed for that. Thank you, my friend. And I want you to heal up my highwayman. He's got to patch up now. Okay, Reynald, you're gonna move up again. We want him on the front lines and I'll move him after the battle. And finally, she's dead. Okay, look at that, another torch. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trapped, really? Light? Now I have blight. Okay, I wonder if that would actually do that, restore purity. We're gonna use anti-venom. 
I don't want him to take too much damage. I'm glad I had that. Okay. I want you to move right here. That would do. No, no, no. I don't want you to move there. I want you to move back to the front. My bad. Okay, we're good now. Dim light. Hold on. I think not. We're going to move up here. Or sorry, over here. And that's what I meant to click on. All right, Reynald. Hopefully you'll be all right, my friend. I'm trying to watch out for traps, too. That was a trap? I didn't even see it. Oh, man. Time to go into another room. Oh, boy. I feel like we're getting into quite a seedy location. We'll come over here now. I want to explore every room before I move on. Oh, no. He's taking more loot again. I've got to get rid of that trait. You, my friend, are being a nightmare. Gradient light. Dim again. Well, that didn't take long at all. Hunger. Eat for food. I do have a lot of food, and they did heal up. I mean, that may be a little bit of HP, but that will contribute to me being alive. All right. We're nearly done here. Shadowy. Uh-oh. Hold on. Maybe that was my final foe to fight. My difficult final foe to fight. Maybe. Alright, what's over here? Another big room. There we go. We've got an undead party. I would like to think that they were actually trying to find Lee too. They were like, oh great. Humans again. Okay, what should I use to really do a lot to all of you? If I use that, that could potentially, what, stun either one of you. I don't want to be damaged by... Oh, actually, both of you. All right. Those two are stunned. And that will give me a chance to actually continue to damage their own party. Party Hill, not right now. I want you to judge that Arbalist right now. I want him gone. He'll probably do a lot of damage and you're all healed up. I mean, you were already healed up, but you're healed up again. Grape Shot Blast. I want you to shoot the first three. <laughs> Spread out damage. Six damage. I'm going to need to patch you up with my Seeker. But not yet. Okay. The Zealous Accusation. Bam. Look at that damage. There shouldn't be a lot. Oh, wow. He's nearly done for. Okay, I'm about to stun him again. Could have you do more damage, but no. I want them stunned once more. Okay, one is stunned, but the other one is not. You can shoot again. Shoot that courtier. Good. The courtier is dead. Again. Okay, you're gonna heal up my highwayman. He's not as beefy and I need him to be patched up. Now looking at it, we could take out that bone defender if we were to use smite. I mean, it's a ability meant to fight the undead. I might as well use it. Okay. Time for me to shoot you. Actually, you in the back. We won't be able to reach the Arbalist in the back because we've got two dead bodies here that are not yet gone. I'm gonna use right now a play grenade. We don't need that. We don't need damage over time, but I do need to potentially stun you. Try it out. Did it work out? It did not work out. I didn't think it would work out in a chain event. Apparently, they might be buffed against it after I use it once. That might be why. Okay, more damage again. Coral. Whoa. Dazed, reeling, about to break. Yeah, my stress is really going up, and if my stress goes up too high, we'll have to test our resolve. And if we fell, we could go crazy or have a type of affliction. Which means that you could be paranoid, you could even have a heart attack. I mean, these are not good things here. Okay, you can't hit them plane grenade. Just use that. It'll get rid of the dead body too, right? No. A death by inches. There we go. We finally got the loot that we came here for. Oh, we're done. Alright. Yeah, we'll go back now. We took a lot of damage. I want to go back and if I can get a sanatorium, I would love that. That is a lot of treasure. A lot of gold too. Okay. What do we have for you, Reynald? You're a dud hitter. Oh, great. 
Dismas, what about you? Early riser. Huh, plus two speed if I keep things well lit. The other two did not level up yet. All right, back to the hamlet. All the decadent horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. Yeah, severe negative quirks. Over time, some negative quirks will lock into place and become severe. Whoa. I've got to get rid of that. I now have the Abbey and the Tavern. Mortimer, you two are here. My other character. Week one. Okay, let's go over here to the Abbey. The cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set straight. The Abbey calls to the faithful. Okay, you can relieve stress at the Abbey or the Tavern. And depending on their quirks, I mean, they will relieve more stress at either one. And they'll be there until next week, which means I've got to take a new hero if I want to do that. Pray to a higher power. Penance Hall. I could expand it right now. Stress recovery. Transept. Penance Hall. Cloister. There's a lot of that. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. Yeah, now we have a brothel, gambling hall, and bar. All of that could definitely be beneficial. I'm gonna upgrade what then? I've got a lot of crests over here. Brothel. And that, and that. With enough ale, maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. We don't have a sanatorium yet. Oh, hello, a leper. I'll take him. Does it cost me anything to actually recruit one of them? I don't know. This man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. No kidding. Okay. A seeker hound master. I'll take him. A lawman and his faithful beast. A and bond forged by battle. A seeker jester. Okay. Well, I think that will do for now. If you have any questions for me or would like to leave a comment down below, feel free to do so. Remember to like, comment, and sub if you would like to see more. And I can't wait for our part two. Thank you for watching. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon.